Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Monday, April 29th, 2019. I can't believe April's almost over already. It's crazy. Uh, now, so you're looking at the sky here, and we got overcast now. We did have some sunshine earlier today, and then it kind of got overcast later in the day. It's uh, probably about 6.30 right now. I think it's 6.30. I gotta look and see. I don't even freaking know. Let me see. Hold on a second. Yeah, it's 6.30. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you guys the right time. So, but anyway, um, we ended up pulling in 4.5 kilowatt hours today. So, best day of the year so far, uh, pulling in power, which was nice. The days are obviously getting longer, which helps. And uh, But even with the overcast, we're still pulling in power with it being overcast. So, we had a really, really good day uh, power-wise. So, anyway, so let's get into the topic of today's video. Uh... NASA and FEMA are working together in a joint exercise to practice for an asteroid strike. Okay, now NASA has done this six times before. They've done tests before to see what works, and it's basically trying to work with uh, communications, <clears throat> excuse me, and those type of things with, um, you know, with. Uh, governments around the world and, and those type of things if there you know was going to be an asteroid strike now is there a possibility of an asteroid strike um, actually guys things hit the planet every day every day we have objects come into our atmosphere and hit our planet uh, you see the different things all the time like there was the one that happened in uh, in Russia and it was like a sonic boom and it was a you know fairly decent sized thing and it shattered windows and everything uh, so those things those things happen <coughs> excuse me all the time rarely does something big enough come in that could impact like uh, it did for the extinction of the dinosaurs when that asteroid hit it basically changed the whole planet for quite a while uh, because of the that impact of that huge object that hit the earth at that time and if you look at it, it's like uh, the Tucanan Peninsula I think it's called it's down in South America and I'm probably saying that wrong so I apologize but I know that I know where I'm talking about it's down in South America where it hit and it actually hit um, in the ocean and uh, it was definitely a game changer it changed the dynamics of everything when that hit now will that happen again eventually yes absolutely um, at some point in our future uh, a large asteroid will definitely, they call them near-Earth objects. Um, you know, a large asteroid will come in and it will hit the planet. Uh, and it, you know, if unless they can monitor it ahead of time and do something about it. Uh, you know, they obviously remember the movie that they had where they had to go up in space and, and uh, you know, they knew that this thing was going to hit the Earth and they had to save the Earth and they used a nuclear device to detonate it, to break it up, to take it off course and all that. I mean, you know, that's obviously a movie. But that is a reality of something that could be a possibility to have to deal with in that type of situation. So um, definitely, you know, it, it's definitely something else to keep an eye on <laughs> amongst the myriad of other things that could possibly go wrong uh, in our society. But it's definitely, uh, I find it interesting, I find it fascinating, you know, that uh, they're practicing for those type of things. Because those are real possibilities, guys. I mean, it's like, you know, that's not fantasy, um, that's reality. Like I said, every day we get hit with objects from outer space. There's so much stuff flying around out there that is traveling around, um, you know, out there in space. And it's moving. And, uh, you know, like I said, it, it, we have things that hit the United, or not the United States, but, you know, the world on a daily basis. United States, too, but we have things that hit the world on a daily basis. So, you know, something that would be large enough that, that would impact life as we know it will definitely happen again at some point. Hopefully they have things monitored and, and they can do something about it, try to get it off course if they can. Uh, you know, that would be, you know, that would be the good thing. But, uh, you know, there's some quite large objects out there that if they hit the earth, uh, it would be a very bad day for us. So, um, just, um, I thought that that was interesting that, um, you know, FEMA and NASA this time were working in conjunction together. Because, like I said, uh, NASA has done this type of test before like six different times. But this time they're actually working in conjunction with FEMA. So I found that really fascinating. Uh, I definitely want to hear you guys' feedback on that topic. I mean, I think it's a 
really, really interesting thing, you know, and uh, something to keep, like I said, just another thing among the myriad of many things possible that could happen to keep an eye on. Uh, I wanted to show you here on the, pl on the plants, things are starting to bud up here. Now that, the higher part of that is dead, but that lower part, look at that, that's really starting to bud up. This is uh, one of the cherry trees. This cherry tree here and the cherry tree up over on the other side, and I'll show you that in a little bit, they were planted at the same time, but the deer kept coming in and eating this one. And like from that one there, the deer had ate all the leaves off. So last year, that little bud came out, and uh, so I'm like, okay, I can still save this tree. And so that's when I put the cage around it. But uh, you look at this one here. This one's doing fantastic. That one's really budding up nice as well. And then these ones here are starting to bud as well. So you can see the buds on there and the leaves starting to come up on there. So very, very cool. You can see that as well on that one. So, yeah, they're coming along. You know, it's uh, fruit trees are starting, finally. The weather this year has just been absolutely crazy. But... Uh, you know, it's, uh, so that little bitty dinky cherry tree, okay, that you guys just saw, and this cherry tree were both planted at the same exact time. Uh, we planted this one. This cherry tree is now, this year, it'll be four years that we've had it. And so this would, the other one would have been this size if the deer hadn't gotten to it and eaten it. But you can see all the buds coming out. It's really doing really, really well. And uh, so I'm real, real pleased about that. Uh, these two here are pear trees. And so they are doing well also. So uh, I was out today. I wanted to tell you I was out shopping today. And I was looking at some stuff. And I had to stop and get cat food for the cats and, and those type of things. But uh, I um, was looking at... You know, more blueberry bushes. They cost about 10 bucks a piece for the blueberry bushes at um, Tractor Supply. And they also have nut trees. So they had like a, a pecan nut tree, I think is what it was. And, uh, you know, those are actually pretty good. So I was looking at those as well, and I was like, man, you know, I might have to, have to get a few of those trees this year. I will be adding more fruit trees this year. So these, these ones here, guys, this here and this one here, these are the blueberry bushes. Uh, bushes that I had put in two years ago. I put in two more last year and the dogs chewed them all to crap. So, uh, you know, again, these ones, I don't think they weren't really messing with those, which was good. So this one here, this tree here, and this one here are peach trees. So you can see the budding and everything is starting on that one. And also you see the budding and everything starting on this peach tree. Now this tree here, um, this is two years ago we planted this one. This one got planted last year. These are uh, plums. And the plum tree that I had planted here died, so I replaced it last year with this plum tree. And you can see it's doing really, really well. So, And this one is doing well as, as well. So we'll see how they go. But uh, So I just continue to add every year to our orchard. And uh, eventually we will have a great orchard. What I'm going to do is, once I clear this whole area out here, I want to turn that whole area in through here, just into an orchard. Just tree after tree after tree, and uh, have just the whole thing, just, just a beautiful little orchard there. And I think that that'll be really, really cool. And it'll just take time. But uh, if I plant four trees a year... Uh, before you know it, I'm going to have quite a different variety of stuff. Uh, this year, I plan on adding uh, apple trees is what I'm going to do this year. So, you know, I have, uh, let's see, I have three, three cherry trees, two plum, uh, two peach, uh, and two nectarine. So, you know, it's a, it's a little variety. And like I said, we're going to put in more of the blueberry bushes and, and those type of things as well. Just to have a different variety of things but um, so I wanted to mention here real quick somebody had said that I shouldn't stack the wood between the two trees like that because any diseases that were in the wood is going to transfer to the trees these trees weren't diseased guys that were taken down they've just been down for a long time uh, so those are going to get burned up actually pretty quickly as we have the burning pile here as we're doing some bonfires we will definitely be hammering on that really really you know we'll be 
feeding that fire and sitting out here and enjoying a nice bonfire. Like today, today's a perfect day for a bonfire. It's cool, there's no wind, it's absolutely perfect for that. So um, I probably won't do it tonight, but I'm just saying it's a good day for it. You want to pick those days when, it's, when the wind's not kicking. Um, I wanted to mention real quick too, guys, while I was thinking about it, right now on the website we have a sale going on. Legacy is doing 25% off all their bucket meals. So that is happening right now. So any kind of bucket uh, combination that they have, you can save 25% on that, and that's at PrepperNurse1.com. Uh, also on the website, we're doing, um, in conjunction with that sale, we're doing 20% off of everything else. So everything else uh, on the website, merchandise, the rest of the legacy food is all going to be 20% off. And that sale is going to go until May 3rd, um, 3 a.m. Uh, East Coast time, which would be the 4th of May, um, and th to midnight three, you know, on the 3rd West Coast time. So we, we kind of make sure that it's so it's West Coast time when we end the sales. But uh, that'll be May 3rd is when that ends. Um, so that's what's going on. Um, just like I said, I had to go out and do a lot of grocery shopping and stuff like that today. With teenage kids, they like to eat for some reason. And so, unfortunately, I have to go out and spend money on them. I don't know why that is, but... Uh, so now we got a bunch of meat and stuff like that so that we can, uh, you know, we cook a lot either on the grill or on the wood stove. And so, you know, um, actually we're going to cook out here in a little bit. So anyway, uh, that's what's going on here at the homestead today. I just wanted to kind of give you an update of what we're doing. And I wanted to talk about the situation again with NASA and FEMA working together. I think that's really, really interesting. But uh, like I said, I definitely want to hear your feedback on the topic. Uh, I want to hear what your thoughts are of my eventual super orchard which will definitely be a work in progress but we're getting there already you know we've got uh, trees down the driveway up by the house and over here so we've got quite a few trees already and we will be adding more so um, anyway guys remember we are all in this together that's important to remember remember also hug and kiss the ones you love tell them every single day tomorrow is not guaranteed uh, we never know what's going to happen in life so it's really really important to tell the people that you care about every day how you feel um, also remember STD guys, it's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever you're trying to do, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is yourself. Nobody else can stop you, okay? Uh, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I hope everybody's doing well. Have a great day. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.